well, exist, and everything else that exists, exists because of God. The moral ontological argument justifies this presupposition. It does not matter if the argument begs the question. The Kalan cosmological argument concludes that God exists, and this is not explicit pleading, because we already know that everything else that exists, exists because of God. It doesn't matter if we are begging the question. Order exists because of God. Logic exists because of God. Morality exists because of God. Free will exists because of God. We exist because of God. If something does not feel a purpose in God's plan, that something does not exist. Everything has a purpose. Athens is self-refuting, because Athens denies God. So Athens cannot explain order, and therefore Athens cannot explain knowledge. And Athens cannot explain logic, logic requires knowledge and order. And Athens cannot explain morality. If an atheist makes a moral judgment, they are borrowing morality from Christianity. An atheist believes in no free will. Atheists believe they are purposeless and moral robots. Atheists cannot trust their own judgments, so atheism defeats itself. Except that Athens is not a starting point for most atheists. Athens is rather the conclusion that gods probably don't exist. The propositionless Christian begins with the notion of God to explain the world. The evidentialist atheist begins by observing the world and concluding no God being necessary. Of course, there are propositionalist atheists and evidentialist Christians, and Hindus, Jews, Buddhists, strong agnostics, Scientologists. There are rationalists, apatheists, and other eats in each set. But every time I see a presuper apologetics claiming atheists is self refuting, I either say them depicting a dishonestly built strawman or the inability to consider other epistemological approaches some kind of lack of imagination.